takes my name is Dino Melaye Senator for four years. <laughs> Mr. President, when you speak the truth, you die. When you lie, you die. I have chosen to speak the truth and die. Mr. President, this morning, there is another call to national service and duty to the senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, it is time for the Senate to tell the executive arm of government that they must stop playing blues and dance reggae. It is time to stop approbating and reprobating. Mr. President, this republic that our founding forefathers fought for, this Senate that our founding fathers, the Joseph Warriors of this world, the Olushana Sarakis of this world, the Evan Awarens of this world, the Wabaras of this world, fought for institute, is about to be completely destroyed. May it not be in your time. God forbid. May it not be recorded in history that it is in the time of Bukola Saraki as the president of the Senate that the powers of the Senate has, has been completely eroded. Mr. President, it is a, a, a enough of Boju Boju presentations. Enough of Bola Kaja application to legislative practice. In this same chamber, we invited Magu, Magu, M-A-G-U. Magu came for a job interview and failed. And as a result, he was rejected by the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As I speak with you, Magu is still parading himself as the chairman of EFCC, despite rejection by the Senate. The same executive that have allowed Magu to continue to stay in office now wrote you a letter this morning to say that we should confirm somebody I raised my voice on him on this floor who went to resume without confirmation of the Senate. And the day we moved that, the Senate got an apology from the acting secretary to the federal government. And he was chased out of his office. Mr. President, now they have brought the name of that person for confirmation. And in the other hand, a man that has been rejected has not been confirmed. He's still acting. Mr. President, we also passed some wrecks in this chamber before we went on break. Out of those we passed, they chose to swear in some and refused to swear in some after confirmation of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are not in the Banana Republic. Mr. President, it is time for you and this Senate to act. Democracy we continue to be government of the people, by the people, and for the people. The integrity of the Senate is on test. Mr. President, the inconsistency of the executive in hiring and firing, in choosing what to do despite the powers of the Senate, it is time attack Amos that is to say, it is time we apply breaks. This Senate cannot be disregarded. This Senate cannot be insulted. 
Our authority to confirm cannot be eroded. Mr. President, I am moving a motion that it becomes abominable. I want you to allow the Senate President to listen to this. I am moving a motion that it becomes abominable for you to even read another confirmation request from the executive. We don't want to hear any request for confirmation again until the integrity and position of the Senate is respected by the executive arm of government. They cannot do our job for us. We will not do their job for them. They are to recommend for us. We are to confirm. And once you come for confirmation, you, when you go for an exam, you either pass or fail. And those who have failed should go back. Magu is not the last Nigerian angel. They should bring another person. We will examine him. If he's qualified, we will pass him. But once you are not passed, you cannot be promoted. His mates are area commanders and DPOs. He can serve this country in other capacity. God bless Nigeria.